Today's patio chat is being brought to you locally by West Street Furniture in Delphus. See it all at your finer outdoor furniture store. There are so many programs to learn about at Rose State College, and today we're going to learn more about artificial intelligence. And joining us, we have the Dean of Technology and Liberal Studies, David Haas. And thanks for, Haas, so thanks for coming today. Thanks for having me. It's a real right. pleasure to be here. So I have something in my mind when I hear artificial <laughs> intelligence, but I have a feeling that's not all that it encompasses, and it might not be correct. So what are, you, what are we talking about when we say artificial intelligence? Right, and this can be very broadly constructed. So you're talking about how machines... Uh, can process information and make decisions in an in, in intelligent fashion. So uh, we have human intelligence where we take a variety of data, we see it, we hear it, uh, we read it, and we make decisions based on it. And in artificial intelligence, it's based on the process of how we train a computer to do that. And it's more than simply a, a chain of statements where we say, if something happens here, then therefore do this. Uh, those are something that we see typically in programming for years. We're talking about more complex decision making now. Okay. So then I go to movies and I'm thinking, are you making robots that look like people? And, <laughs> and are, are, are you, you know, talking about drone type things yeah. or something else? Or, or does it encompass everything? Yeah. So it encompasses robotics. It can encompass drone technology. Uh, one of the pieces that uh, we were demonstrating is the autonomous ground vehicle. Okay. Uh, so that is actually a vehicle that was driving itself. So um, what we do is we program it to, with certain uh, instructions on how it should uh, drive or how it should read a field okay. using sensors and then from that make decisions on how it can operate and where. And that involves a type of learning. So machines also, we train them to learn from the past and that's called machine learning. And there's different types of that, just like there's different types of learning with people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if a student goes into this program, it sounds like there's a lot to learn. Are there certain areas that they focus on, or do they learn all these general things? What are they, they learning? They do, yeah. So uh, in the program, uh, they'll learn a, a sort of an introduction to artificial intelligence, where they get the overview and the uh, fundamentals. Uh, they take courses in something called natural language processing which is very much like if you use uh, Siri or you talk oh, okay. to Alexa, mm -hmm. those kinds of things, or if you're used to dealing with a customer service uh, interface on a website and it's the chat bot. Oh, yes. So you learn basically how those things work and how to make them. Uh, the other part of that, um, aside from natural language processing, because that's basically teaching a computer how to take the way we speak, interpret that, and respond. Uh, we have machine learning, and that's another course that you take. And we also um, do a course on sense on visual, oh, so really? how a computer sees things and recognizes images and faces and things. So just like if you're on your phone and use your face recognition, face recognition. Wow. right? But they're everywhere, and it's not just in your home phone. When you think of the grand scope of things. The exciting part is we think we don't necessarily think of it, but in manufacturing anymore, uh, we can use computers on the robots to not just have robots do simple tasks, but also use it to take lots of data points that we collect. And we collect data everywhere. And so another part of this program teaches how you take large quantities of data and try to interpret them and make sense and how a computer can help you do that in ways that maybe we couldn't or couldn't do it very easily. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so it sounds like if you like computers and, and programming, that kind of thing, this is a good field for you. And and obviously from you, what you just mentioned in manufacturing, there's a lot of different areas that you can go in after you go through the program. Yes, and so manufacturing has a big uh, opportunity there because, for example, there's a number of manufacturing applications that look at things like preventative maintenance. Mm. So actually having those data points collected and a machine trying to predict based on a number of historical uh, events when it might need maintenance. Oh, wow. And That's so neat. working to make sure that your machines don't go down and that can save companies a lot of money oh, sure and could. also keep productivity high. And so if you're interested in computers, look, my background was in history, my PhD's in history. I got into big data and it's never too late. So I think this is a great program for 
a, a student coming out of high school or someone looking to change careers. Sounds it's like it's accessible, yeah. and uh, I think it's a very applied program that's well, open for lots of people. Awesome. Well, thank you, David, for coming today. Thank you for being for letting me be here. All right, don't go away. Noon edition continues in a moment.